details on added performers and who is opening the show at 11. Let me tell you about Rick Caruso. When he took over the police commission, the department was in turmoil. Caruso made tough choices, took on the politicians, and reformed the LAPD, neighborhood-based community policing. Together, we cut crime 30%. Caruso didn't just talk, he got it done. As mayor, Caruso won't defund the police. He'll invest in community policing and youth crime prevention. So who can clean up crime in LA? Caruso can. Rick Caruso, the mayor. It takes many forms, often revealing itself in dramatic fashion, forever reshaping how we see the world around us, unearthing something deeper within that awakens us to the truth. There is so much more out there yet to be discovered. Yamava Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. And welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Suzanne Marquez. The FDA has authorized a second booster shot of the COVID vaccine for some people. This comes as a new variant is causing some concern about a potential spring surge. CBS 2's Tina Ezzedine is live in Long Beach. Actually, she's taped with Who Should Get One, Tina. Within the first 10 minutes, they were here getting their second COVID-19 booster shot. I'm not taking any chances, so I feel good about the shots. The FDA just authorized a second booster dose of Pfizer or Moderna vaccine for those with a weakened immune system or anyone 50 years or older whose last booster was at least four months ago. I will always take as much prevention as I possibly can, but I'm actually going to um, back home to England in a few weeks time and I figured that it was best to have the optimum um, protection. Approval for the second COVID booster shot comes as an Omicron subvariant becomes the dominant COVID strain in the U.S., making up 55% of new cases. Uh, I think it's better to be proactive. Um, we don't want to see another surge coming in and then a flood of people coming in trying to get their boosters. It's better to be um, ahead of the, uh, of the virus. As the saying goes, timing is everything. Just as L.A. County begins offering second booster doses, L.A. City Council just lifted the citywide mandate requiring proof of vaccination to enter indoor establishments and large outdoor events. A renewed sense of protection. Right now, the L.A. City Council has now decided it is going to lift the mandate requiring proof of vaccination for indoor spaces as well as large outdoor events. Uh, it is now just headed to the mayor's office for his signature, and then it will be in full force. Again, if you would like to know uh, a more detailed list of where you can get a booster uh, throughout the L.A. County area, head to our website, cbslosangeles.com, and click on the Scene on TV tab there and we'll provide all the information that you need. Reporting live in Long Beach, I'm Tina Ezzedine, CBS 2 News. President Joe Biden is among the first to get his second COVID vaccine booster dose. He rolled up his sleeve a short while ago, taking advantage of the CDC's approval of the second booster shot for people over the age of 50 who got their first booster at least four months ago. The president called on Congress to provide more COVID-19 funding, which is expected to run out as early as May. The president also launched a new website, marking a new phase of living with the risks of COVID. Today, I'm announcing the launch of COVID.gov, COVID.gov, a one-stop one shop where anyone in America can find what they need to navigate the virus. The website is COVID.gov. It's a one-stop shop for people to access vaccines, tests, treatments, masks, and your local area guidelines. The president also mentioned there are now 2,000 test-to-treat sites set up across the country. So if your test comes back positive, you can get treatment at the same site. Find a site near you on COVID.gov. We'll have it on CBSLA.com as well. Police need your help finding a group of people accused of committing a hate crime in Pasadena. CBS 2's Tina Patel is live outside of a restaurant where a man and his friends were attacked. Tina, good morning. Good morning, Suzanne. Police say they have already gotten a few tips and they're hoping anyone else who saw something may come forward. The assault happened here early Friday morning and one of the victims is now posting an update on social media.